me hands upon the fat All folked up the stiff that round about I always drop on leech at red dem Well this is me way back in 2004 singing about a famous place in Barnsley, the Stairfoot Roundabout. Now, I want to talk about another place, famous place, where I knew well when I was a young lad. Problem is, when I mention it, nobody's heard of it. It's called Bear Bones, or the Bear Bones in Barnsley. Traffic flows better with the earliest settlements in the 1800s made to house weavers. Then later, of course, came the mining community. So, to get to know a bit more about Bear Bones, I went to obvious place first. The Barnsley Town Hall Archives Library. So to find out uh, all the answers, uh, I've come to the uh, town hall, the Barnsley uh, Library Archives, and I've come to see my old friend Paul. Just explain, Paul, uh, who you are, what's your official name? Okay. Um, my name is Paul Stebby, and I'm the Archives and Local Studies Officer for Barnsley Council, and I manage um, the, uh, the archives of the borough, which date back 850 years uh, to the 12th century. Uh, and we've got uh, approximately 18,000 boxes of archives that cover all aspects of Barnsley life over the centuries. So we've got council records, records relating to families, polit political parties, schools, businesses, the whole shebang. Township of Barnsley, which was compiled in 1856 yeah, yeah, for the yeah. local board of health. And yes, we can we can clearly see the use of the term bare bones yeah, for that yeah, area. Yeah. And with it being a very official map, um, it tells us that you know bare bones has, has, has gone from being used just as a, a local colloquial name to, to one that's um, actually here on the official document, which is yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Um, yeah. I mean, it doesn't doesn't tell us why it was named bare bones. No, there's no. no definitive answer as no. to why it was called bare bones. It Which... may go back centuries. I am Julian. I'm a visitor service assistant um, work that works in archives, archives and local studies. And she's a, she's a man of information, pardon the pun. <laughs> right, Johnny, you know, we do know it started as a weaving uh, community. Do you know anything else about it? Well, the houses were all weaving houses. They had yeah. the, the big rooms in the cellars that would accommodate the big frame. The, the looms, rooms, the looms, um, yeah. And, that we'd do, and it would all be piecework, so that all the family would work yeah. together doing the work. Yeah. Because they would get paid for every piece that they produced. Yeah, so. apparently uh, Samuel Beckett uh, he shattered it all off in, in the early 1800s. You know, that's the same family who built the hospital, of course, you know. Interesting, I, apparently they used to get the water from the South Dyke, a, a dike that runs in the Barnsley, but it got that contaminated, you know, with the, all the contamination that they had to move to. Could have, you know, so that, that's, that, that falls into line. Yeah, and of course they would have needed the big fields to lay the linen out on. Yeah. That's what the Stands. Yeah, and yeah, the, the air would have been cleaner and the water would have been cleaner. Apparently, in those days, in them days, it was actually booming. Barnsley were absolutely booming. You know, at this particular uh, period, uh, the population quadrupled times four. You know, yeah, by by this particular period, mm. the linen trade was actually starting to decline. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, and especially the hand loom weaving, as we yeah. call it, because the factories were coming into existence. Automation. Yeah. yeah. So, Electricity, um, you know, this was the start yeah. of the decline of the living industry and the yeah. rise of the coal industry. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting. 1856, don't forget, just before the Oaks, uh, uh, 10 years before the Oaks. So I've set up to see Mr. Barnsley himself, Mr. Peter Doyle, and this is where we're going to the Eastern Road Working Men's Club, or Common Club as we know it. For some more answers. Well, I wanted some uh, first hand uh, information about the bare bones. Uh, 
and I've come to see uh, Mr. Mr. Bartle himself, Mr. Peter Doyle. Now everybody knows him. Everybody, ex-councillor, ex-mayor, ex-owner of the Barnsley Football Club. In his younger days, he had a pipeline business and employed some 500 people. 500 people, Peter. Yep, yep, yep. And now we're in the uh, Woodsboro Common. What's posh name? Eastern Road Working Men's Club. Eastern Road Working Men's Club. Or us locals call it Common, Common Club. Club. Common Club. Right, Peter. Let's go for it. So. Yep. Yeah, you were brought up in Bearbones. Yeah. Were you born in Bearbones? Yeah, I was born. I was born one Union Street Court, but we also know it as Union Street Backs. And yeah. that was just at bottom, but back at Old Warrior Pub. Uh, old Warrior. Off old Sheffield Warrior. Road. Right, 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 right. So let's just. I want you to explain to everybody, neutrals, as it is now. What what boundaries at Bearbones? But we. I think it's in like a quarter of a square, if you like. You shift, you shift bare bones, you let it move round. We all accept bare bones came down when you come down from uh, so Wind Street, uh, top, of, top of Wind Street went round, went down Providence Street, that come round. Yeah. Duke Street that went in down and then yeah. into Wood Street. Yeah. Round Ely Street, yeah. Fleming Street, yeah. Toad Pit Yard. Uh, Agnes. Road, Agnes Road Pit Yard, but we yeah. call it Pit Yard. Pit Yard, yeah. And down there, and then so far down uh, Agnes Road and up John Street, that area, that were all past us bare bones. So, in modern day terms, Pete, just put that one square, side. square it off. As it is now, as it is now. So, square it off, go on Park Road. Go down Park Road, set to. With, with Silks and Puppies? Yeah, yeah, well, they used to be Duke of Leeds further down. I was just going to ask you about and that. And I had up Silks and Pub, right? I opened up there. Get on towards where Pond Street, Pond Street's still there. Yeah, yeah, down Pond Street. Go down Pond Street, go yeah. down the bottom of there, that's Pete Fields at the bottom of there. Just to tell everybody, that's where Old Leaf Pub was. Yeah, it's, and it's behind there. It's, what, a bit shaft behind there. Yeah, the it's, 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 it's capped it. over. Capped over. Yeah, I've done a small drawing yeah. just trying to show you, like yeah. later on. Ah, but I'll ah. show you that. Yeah. But that boundary bit, just carry on with boundary yeah. now. And it, then you went we, down, we're at the bottom of Day Street now. The bottom of Day Street. Come down Agnes Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down. Yeah. That's where. You're uh, Wood Street runs into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. go down. Morrison's, down. opposite yeah, Morrison's. Yeah. This side of Morrison. Or yeah. other side, not that side, it were all top side of Morrison's. Right. Up Joseph Street and John Street and up them there. Up near Rag Shop. And you came back out into Wheelie Street. So it was that area. Off Sheffield Road as well, yeah. Like. Well, this side of Sheffield Road, you know, uh, once you go uh, up uh, Union Street, all that area, it were class. Because yeah. it does bare bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nearly I'll everybody that lived there, like us, we went to, from there, we went to uh, New Lodge in 1947, bad winter. And we uh, were there 18 months, and we come back to Four Wind Street, which was Bank Plumbing Centre at bare bones. What it? So, can you tell me, uh, bare bones? Why were it called bare bones? Well, we were all us as kids. I'm 74 now. As kids, we were made to believe that there were two, two pointers to it being called bare bones. One that there were a scaffold there that once they'd catch the villain or someone that had done a serious crime, the young man left his bones in a cage, so as it went to bare bones, and they had them up and down country all over uh, uh, uh. And it was a warning, this is what you get if you come here, you left us rot in a, in a cage. And um, where were that? That was, that was just at the bottom of Wood Street. Uh, there used to be a yep. great big old Victorian, a great big old Victorian lamp there, and they said that's where it was. Where that to put that Victorian lamp, it was a big, massive, beautiful uh, cast road. You know, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Had it done it. Um, so bodies rotted away to full. rotted to bones, and that's one of what it does it come happen. out. And I have seen that in one of old books that uh, I read somewhere. Uh, uh, uh. A big cast iron lamp post well, and as kids we were told there'd been at the time there were a gibbet there. Whereabouts were this bit? That was there, just there. With this bungalow is? With this? Just about, I'll show you exactly where. Yeah, yeah, See yeah. where that fencing is? Yeah. Where that, where that square is there? Yeah. That square, just don't think, it was stood up there, big orna ornamented cast iron right, lamp. Because right. we just come down, sliding down Wind Street. Uh. Down Ealy Street and straight down to square practically that way and run all the way back. Yeah. And the other one, what, 
the Rupin peat field was this side of peat field. Yeah. There were, uh, uh, well, it was a glue shop, and they used to fetch all the bones, bare bones, because they cut the meats off them. They used to fetch them there in horse and cart, and they used to boil them to make glue. Now that's the other reasoning. Mm. And then you take it between them, but I do think that. Uh, the, the, the both right, uh, mm. because I have read a book about that and all, a glue yeah. shop up on there, yeah. and that's nicknamed up with bare bones, because they used to take the bones to melt down, to, to boil to make glue, and also where they used to uh, hang a villain and let him rot in cage oh. to give a warning to anybody yeah. coming in. Lack of deterrent. Yeah. 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 So, My God. I mean, you've got, to, you've got to look at it and take it as is. Ah. I, I do, I, I know I've read some books somewhere where that also verified it. It might have got lost in myth in, uh, you know, in, you know. I, I, don't, I don't think, know. you know, because Barnsley was a prosperous town of prosperous people. I mean, uh, look at cotton and things that and, we're doing here. Yeah. And leather tanning. What amazes me be, when I tell young'uns, these young kids now, it's off bare bones, they ain't a clue, they ain't a clue what you're talking about. No, no, I've got to no. say, open your flats. See, a lot uh, of, they, they ain't a clue. Sadly, a lot of people, uh, Monk as proud as I am from where I was born yeah. and read, and I'm yeah. proud and I tell you, it was a lovely, they were the loveliest people. Mm. You could go in any house, if mother were poorly, you got fed with next to her neighbour and you were put to bed with him. Mm. And that, that sort of people, communities it was. Mm. Well, a lot did get like, you know, what you're on about, we didn't come on the bare bones. Well, they, did, they were bred and born on bare bones, uh. and they should be proud to say so, because that were uh. a very proud bunch of people. It won't like it is today, this me, no. me, me society. Yeah. Shared everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if somebody got it, you had a share on it. And they used to bake, you know, they used to bake oven bottoms. One woman uh. had Monday, uh. and they'd get it. So uh. one, one had baked Tuesday, and you got fresh bread Tuesday. One had baked Wednesday. And they were setting here to share oven and bottom cakes with yeah. fresh bread every day. Yeah. But they were always there. Anybody sick, they'd sit up. I've seen my mother when they've knocked on the wall at four o'clock, so Udman could go to bed. Yeah. She's gone in and set with his wife because she was poor, and that's how they used to do it. It was, it was just a lovely, solid community. And yeah. Well, we know what happened, they split them up. Yeah. When they, when they knocked them I, down. I, I wonder, we, I'd like to get to know Dave when that. I've got. When they knocked him down, it were in stages, weren't it? Well, all the, well I, I can hear it. You, uh -huh. knock, I can tell you exactly, because I, I came home, I was last to be married in Wood Street, uh -huh. and they were wedded in Wood Street, and they were in uh -huh. 63. Pope, March Wood? 63, yeah, yeah uh -huh. March 63. And all far side, Providence Street and all them had been knocked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the early street, that bottom yeah. end had gone. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there it just went one after another, after another, after another. And we come from a town, they like to put us down, and we've got an halo in the sky. We go for a stroll around the Tuscan wall, ate our Albertus pork pie. They tell me up in Lock Park, there's a geezer. He thinks he's looking at the leaning tower of Pisa. Get this end down and come to our town. We've got a nail in the sky All that one on at Pickfield yeah. It looked a million mile But that was Pickfield, that's how wide it was When we yeah, yeah. it, looked like a, yards and miles and miles here. So this yeah. Just to tell everybody, this this is Agnes uh, shaft yeah. uh, sunk in 1862, 1863. It went to a depth of 150 yards to Barnsley Bed, yeah. prime seam. Uh, roughly 400 men worked here, and uh, it closed roughly 1905, due to the fact that it was too far away from railway. I've heard. Tail, Pete. I've heard him say that yeah. the tubes used to go down. To go down here, down, down, uh, down New Street. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But here, these, yeah. these were sleepers. These are old sleepers that uh, covered this year when I was a kid. Right, just tell that tale then about yeah. what. And yeah. these, these were railway sleepers, and what happened? The playing cricket, no bill pardon, said, but I'm not taking no more of this wheel. And he grabbed cricket bat stumps and he threw them down. Well, they used to be. When you got down shafts of a far, it were all like lane to filled in. Uh. So. And it went and got bit and batty, went and got a clothesline. Yeah. And he come on, I got it round and he's lowered me and I got bat and a stump. Then I come back up, I lowered him down. 
and he come up with a pad and other two stumps. And as we got out, it started to rumble. <laughs> and dust. 150 yard. <laughs> I didn't go that far yeah, down. It, yeah. it was tilted, so you know, I, I had yeah. dipped in it, and yeah. it started dusting. Look, we like yeah. two. We were like two little collies, and just yeah. about it fit. Ah. And we run, and there used to be a shelter there. We got in there first, and dust were coming out. We snaked around at far end of shelter, across into other shelter, then across home. Cause I lived at Wind Street, for, yeah. and he lived bottom house in Fleming Street. So. Yeah. We got out of way because we thought we get uh, well, we get just right for what we were doing. I'm in part of Ailey Street, which was well, part of the bare bones. Now it's lovely and peaceful and quiet, but when I was a kid, this was a rustling working class area. Every house had its own spirit and kindling and niceness. I've never seen it since. I don't think we'll see it again. But you never wanted for nothing. We all mm. looked after one another. Mm -hmm. But this part here was some stories that you all saw a good life in the pub in the uh, in the greenhouse. Just across here we used to call it the wreck. Mm -hmm. Further down we've got Ailey Street Chapel, which yeah. when we were kids, we used to lay up wall here and fly a kite over that way to <laughs> six foot kites look like a pinny here. Yeah. With bits of string from everywhere. Yeah, it's a lovely So this what it bare bones, this is area at bare bones. So much character around here, so many beautiful people. I think we'll try now, Pete, if we can look these brand new flats. Yeah, that's a that's a pigeon's view, isn't it? If I, I, I hope I hope for uh, foreman that were on him, I know him. Well we've got before. this young fella Sean here who's giving us access. What this what's it called this? Skyline. 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 Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Can't thank enough Sean. Now you've got the Agnes Road, just going straight up there, road, and you see Agnes Road, New Street, up Agnes at Sky Road, yep. Wood Street, going up there. Yeah, and then you've got Ely Street there where Van is. Yeah. And then you go further over there, you've got Tuxa Union Street, yeah. right up Duke Street there. Yeah. And that's your bare board where you've just come down off there street, and your pit fields span straight over there. Yeah. And then you've got it all. Character and life that were in this area is unbelievable. That's Westway, Sean, now, they didn't yeah, they? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, it is. Yeah. I thought they were about little. I am, I am, on all streets. No, no, no. Right, thank you, that's right. What a memory. Thank you. Thanks so much, Sean. Hey, mate. Anytime. Where were you born, Pete? Where were you? Imagine straight down there. This is where Union Street came straight off there. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Just a slight, just a slight game, not as much as it's got. And then there was a gap that was Old Warrior right up, called right up Middle at Road. Old Warrior was here. Oh, old right. Warrior right up Middle at Road, right ah, where ah. they've got that island now going up middle, just to the side of that actually, if you get yeah. a proper measurement. And you came just up from Old Warrior. Yeah. And there was a gap here, and we came in. And our house was called number one union court. So that way the roof is getting in there. I think it'd be about here, yeah, this room uh, here. Don't yeah. forget this world uh was it for Oggies, wasn't it? Yeah, Oggie. Yeah. 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 But they, when it was old warrior like, you know, like it was way down there, like, uh, 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 uh. when it was old warrior. But then yeah. your bugs up, your bugs up, what up? came up right out there. Did he? Yeah, because I with a, with, with a little square window and that was straight on to, to Bugs Up Ball. And that was from real idea. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So roughly here then, Bugs? Yeah, aye, aye. I know <laughs> I wonder if that what took them to see it. <laughs> that one, eh? That's where we used to snake in over back. Uh, uh. And it was just, it was only about three foot six. But this, Ah, it always reminds me of bare bones. We used to go to pictures on a Saturday afternoon. The Star Cinema, they call it. The Bugs Out. Oh, it was hilarious. The serial, Flash Gordon's Trip to Mars. There'd be a cartoon first, then this serial. We were hypnotised. Episode 8, The Death Ray. And this is what happens. 
evil Emperor Ming. There's Flush trapped. He's got him trapped. He pulls a big lever on the death ray machine to half power. Then he says, Full power! And then he said the mortal words. Nothing can save them. Flush Gordon now. Boy, what hilarious. Hilarious! Everybody were hypnotized. We all went down from pictures. How's he gonna? How come Flush escaped the evil Emperor Ming? He was like a devil, this Ming. Anyhow, we went. We waited. Next week, we waited in anticipation. And pictures opening. We all went in. Cartoon come up. Then it come on, Flash Gordon. Trip to Mars. Episode 11. Episode 11? Where's 9 and 10? Well, it was chaos. They were chucking sick packets and all. Oh, it was horrible. Riot. Manager come out, the stop film, he come out. Now then kids, I've got to explain to you. They all were going boo boo, he says. These things come in reels. Episode 9 and 10 are missing. And that's all I remember what he said, he says. We've lost one and broke other. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful days. <laughs>